to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a live reaction to Eden Zero Chapter 28, New Friends. I know a lot of people have been asking, why aren't you doing live reactions anymore? It's because a lot of people are actually telling me that they wanted discussions and just a recap of the chapter rather than a live reaction. And it wasn't until I started doing that that people started saying that they liked the live reaction. So it was... It is confusing and excuse me while I try to find the balance between the two. If one week you see that I'm doing a live reaction, then maybe the next week I'll be doing a discussion. It has really no effect on the video, it's just me reacting in the moment rather than me discussing it. So basically I'm going to be saying the same things, it's just a matter of if I'm doing it in real time or if I'm doing it after the fact that I've read it. So please bear with me while I figure this out and I try to figure out where my channel is going. I am super excited to read this chapter because they just escaped Gillis. I don't know what's going to happen. I can see from the spread on the first page, it's really interesting. It's sister and everything. I'll get into it once we start the actual video. But I am really excited to do a live reaction to this specific chapter. I'll post the poll results from the last video on Eden Zero on the screen now for you guys to see what people thought of last chapter and where the series is going. And I will post the poll for this week's video in the top right hand corner where you guys get to rate the chapter 5 stars down to 1 star. And with that out of the way, let's just get into the video. So again, we start off with this beautiful spread, colored panel of everyone thus far. We have Hamora, Weez, Rebecca, Shiki, Sister Ivory, we have E4, Pino, and Happy. And okay, I said it before, but I just love Sister's character this far. I mean, look at her. Like, is she anything that you thought that she was going to be? And like I said, she reminds me of Natsu a lot, so I really like that about her. So let's just get into this chapter. I really hope it's a good one. So we have the Time Eater. I'm wondering how... Yeah, how big the Time Eater is in like a real life scale. So that's the Chronophage. It really did eat the whole planet. And that's... What? And that's what got Norma too? Such a dreadful sight. I hope everyone managed to evacuate. Yeah, I seriously doubt everyone made it out. But what are you gonna do? It's the law of the cosmos. Yikes. A thousand two hundred years according to my calculations. The Kronos Phage ate a thousand two hundred years of Gillis time. Anyone left behind will no longer be alive. Of course, you might see him again if you wait a thousand two hundred years. It's good to see you again, sister. Yeah, how you been, witch? I'm so glad you're okay. I'm glad you're okay too. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you for coming to back to save me. Of course, yes. And while you were saving Lady Rebecca, it's nice that you saved Sister too. It's nice, why I oughta. <laughs> I. What? Oh, is she just remembering like everything that happened? Why am I getting scared now? Don't cry, Rebecca. Same to you, too. I'm scared, too. I just realized I could have lost my friend. And that thought is just so... <laughs> Stop crying, it's disgusting. Wow, the Demon King is... This time is a real weirdo. Did you not realize? He is a child Master Ziggy took in those years ago. Master Shiki. Yeah, I knew it from the first minute. Ziggy even gave up his quest for the mother, for mother, so he could raise that brat. Okay, this is the problem with live reactors. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to read to the best of my ability. And now he's all grown up. Shiki's reaction to almost losing Rebecca is really adorable. And honestly, goals. <laughs> there you have it. Rebecca's back safe and sound. And now we found sister. Thank you for fixing me. You're a pretty high spec thought. Now, if we can find Valkyrie and Hermit, we will reclaim the Eden Zero's true powers. I'm wondering what happens when everyone comes together. And I hope- I'm looking- I'm looking at the middle panel. It's Homora, so I'm hoping we get to figure out more about her in this chapter. Then we can get past Dragonfall to outer space. I can't wait. And you have no idea where either of them is. Unfortunately, no. However, Lance. Hamora, come to think of it, how did she get here? Your sword once belonged to Valkyrie, did it not? What? It did. But before you ask, I have not been upraised of Valkyrie's 
Basically, she doesn't know where Valkyrie is, but how did she get her sword is what bothers me. In fact, I too am seeking my old teacher, one who vanished without a trace. Teacher? I sensed as much when I saw your sword, Valkyrie taking on a student. I see, that's why you were so interested in this shit. I miss my master. Oh, I hadn't meant to voice my thoughts of how embarrassing. So all the business about a contest of strength with Shiki. That is true as well. Valkyrie told me tales of the Demon King, of an expert fighter far from power, far more powerful than even my master. And as Shiki is the successor, I do hope to challenge him as a warrior. I don't want to fight my friends though, but I did promise. Friends? I'm, yeah, I'm guessing she's gonna start having like a really big crush on him, just the way that she talks about him and the way she kind of gets around him, I don't know. You trained under my grandpa's friend, right? So that makes us friends. I feel like you're not, you're going to make friends with all mankind. Yeah, he seems like the type. Indeed, however, a challenge is not war, but a contest. One might say it's because we're friends. I shan't insist if, insist we do it this instant, but at some point in the future. I mean, yeah, I'm hoping she gets a little bit more training because he wasn't, I don't know. Yeah, he needs a little bit more training, I think. Would you allow me to stay aboard your ship? Whoa, that scared... My apologies. I am resolved to do anything it takes to find Valkyrie. Okay. We'll find Valkyrie and then we'll have our contest. We're happy to have you. Yay. You have my thanks. Still, after all that, we still don't know where to find Valkyrie or Hermit. So, is this we is just a part of this now? It's just like, screw it, we'll just do it, I guess? I don't know. What? Does, yeah, okay, exactly. Does this mean you'll join us in love search, Mr. Weez? I mean, all things considered, you did help us save Rebecca. I always knew you were kind and friendly, Professor. <laughs> you have fixed me, too. And you guided me to the ship. You were the one who freed me from the basement. He assisted in the cleaning of the ship as well. He's just been doing all of these nice things while being an asshole. Oops. You're definitely your, our friend now. Yeah, I guess I am. And I got nowhere else to go. I can stick around for a while. What the hell is that? What? Oh no. Mosquit. Isn't he one of the bad guys? He's that mercenary. What are you doing here? Keep your shirt on. He's on our side. By which I mean he's my minion. Oh. He is Moscow, the ship's caretaker. Moskoy. He has been with me, but then that wannabe me remodeled him into one of her goons. Isn't he adorable? No, I don't think he's adorable at all. But it is nice to see like some characters coming in that are different. He was in real bad shape when I found him. Those evil Sunza. How many times do you need to shoot a guy? Oh, oh, oh no. When I find the punk that did that to him, I'll I'll pay him back bullet but for bullet, bullet for bullet. Yikes. Well, don't say it's stupid. It's nice to meet you. Don't push that. I said don't push it. So what is it what does the button do? I'm scared. Whoosh. Is that Elsie's? No, it's not. That is the that is justice. Report, how much damage did the chronophage do to Gillist? It absorbed that. It appears that it consumed 1,200 years, much worse than, than 50 years off Norma. How many casualties? There's no exact number, but based on the number of ships that evacuated, I am estimate that less than 10% were saved. I estimate that less than 10% were saved? Ooh, yikes, that's a, that's, that's a lot of people dying. 90% of the population died then. That planet was full of scum. No one will remorn them. Feel for- Whoa, I- I'm sorry, I don't know if I already apologized for this, but I just got off of work and it's- I mean, it's kind of late and I'm just tired, so I'm sorry for slurring and stuff. Um, filth or no, they are human lives. 
Countless lives have been lost. I always thought that a thought of Gillis as a cageless prison. It doesn't matter what they did as long as they stayed on that planet. Whoa. But thanks to the Chronosphage, an old threat has been loose in our cosmos. Captain Jaguar? I'm gonna go with that. And he makes Illiga and Rogue out to look like little babies. Who do you mean? The man who turned Gillis into that hive of villainy. The one of... One of the Orashion Sace Galactica. Gal Galactic. Orashion Sace? Are you serious? Jack and Jill, otherwise known as the Dark Alchemist. Okay, that was all for that chapter. Oh boy. Okay, um. Chapter was good. It was good. Um, but why the Irrational Six? Why does it have to be called that? Like, I understand that it's a callback to fairy tale. I'm like, oh, like we're keeping with the fairy tale. But like, you could come up with something different. You could come up with something different. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe it was a translation error. Maybe it wasn't. I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a translation error. You can understand my frustration, right? Like, it is really cool that it's a Rashian Saints, like, fairy tale, but at the same time, like, this is a completely different story. You could come up with something better or something different. It's. You know what? I'm sure you can understand what I mean already. I don't need to keep going. Um, don't forget to participate in the poll. It's in the top right hand corner. I'm very interested to see what you guys rate this chapter and what you guys think about this name, Horatio and Sace, coming back up. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about that chapter. It was really good, but that Horatio and Sace part just kind of got me. Like it is, again, it is cool, but at the same time it's not, I don't think it's necessary. If you've watched it to this point, then you might as well go down below and subscribe and hit the notification bell because you're liking something about this video, so that's good. And if you have any classes this week, I wish you the best of luck in anything in your life, really. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!